Welcome back to Hipster Games guys and to follow on from a video I done a couple of months back showing folks how to install Resident Evil 2 Classic Rebirth on their Steam Deck. This time around we're going to do it for Resident Evil 3 Classic Rebirth. I'll break this out into six parts. Primarily we're going to create a Windows installation of Classic Rebirth and then we're going to transfer that installation over to our Steam Deck. Let's do this. Okay, so to begin the tutorial, what I've done is I split it out, as I mentioned, into six sections. The very, very first thing we're going to need is the Source Next version of Biohazard 3, aka Resident Evil 3. I'm not going to tell you where to get that in this video. Google is your friend here. So once you obtain the Source Next version, it's an ISO file. You can see it here. I've created a folder on my desktop called Files for the purpose of this tutorial. And these are the four main files you're going to need for this tutorial. Very, very first one is Biohazard 3 SourceNext.ISO. Okay, so the next thing what you're going to want to get is the Biohazard 3 SourceNext 1.1.0 patch. And that can be obtained directly on the classic rebirth rebirth website i'll share all the urls in the description of this video and in the pinned comment and you can see in this link here so when you're going to click the link on the classic rebirth website it will bring you to download and go ahead and download that the next thing you want also is the classic rebirth dll go ahead and download that as well again all of this is available here so this guy you need you will need this guy here so go ahead and download both of those now. And then lastly, what you want to put in that files folder is a program called Winpinator. So Google Winpinator, go ahead, go ahead and download the latest version. I'm using this on Windows, so you can get the 64-bit or the 32-bit installer. And we get to the installation and the usage of that program later on when we're going to transfer to our Steam Deck. So next, what we want to do is just to confirm, we should have four files within this files folder just for the purpose of this tutorial. We should have the biohazard patch 1.1.0. We need the source next ISO. We need the classic rebirth DLL. Uh, both of these are compressed uh, seven zip files and you can open, you open those using your favorite utility like WinRare or WinZip or whatever. Again, we we'll get into that later. And finally, then the Winpinator setup for Windows. So let's move on. What we want to do is we want to actually install the Source Next version, create a Windows installation on our Windows PC first in order for us to transfer that to our Steam Deck. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder on my Windows PC and I'm going to call that uh, Classic Rebirth. I'm going to say RE3. And what you want to do next is you want to actually mount ISO on your Win. Windows PC. So you can do that by like right clicking and mounting if you're using Windows 10 or you can use your favorite utility. There's some ones called Daemon Tools, a couple of other ones that you could use. Anyway, I'm using the inbuilt one. So you can right click that and you can go mount and then hit open. And what you'll see here is you will see the DVD drive, aka the ISO being mounted. Uh, we don't need anything here. Go straight into data and copy everything out from data. So we're going to co copy everything out from the data folder and I'm going to paste that into our newly created folder Classic Rebirth RE3. So once that's copied you can go ahead back up and unmount that ISO. We don't need it anymore so I'm going to just right click on it and eject and let's go back now to our Classic Rebirth folder and then I'm going to open up our files folder again. So now we should have three folders open. We have our actual installation directory for Resident Evil 3 Classic Rebirth. What do we need to do next? We actually need to install the patch. So go ahead and uh, open up bh3 1.1.0.7zip, double click this guy, and we're going to extract everything into our newly created directory. Okay, so export, there should be four files in total, overwrite everything, and that is the patch installed. The next thing we want to do is actually install the classic rebirth DLL. We're going to right click that file, we're going to open that, and there will be only one file in there, it's called ddraw. So you're going to extract that again into the classic rebirth folder, and hit OK. And now in total, what you should have is you should have 21 items within this folder. The next thing what we want to do is, OK, we have Classic Rebirth, essentially, installation folder built. But what we want to do now is we actually want to test it. We want to test it in Windows because we want to actually set up the configuration so we can transport that configuration over to the Steam Deck. And I'll explain that later on. So go ahead and double click Biohazard 3 and you will come up with a configuration page. I recommend that you just set the best preset 
and uh, ensure that under miscellaneous X input is selected because we're going to be using our Steam Deck controls and it needs to be set to X input in order for this to work. So I'm going to hit OK. And now you can see the source next version is loading. We're going to close that out straight away. We don't actually go ahead and do anything with the game as of yet. So now we have a fully configured and working version of Classic Rebirth RE3. What do we want to do next? We want to actually transfer that now to our Steam Deck. So go ahead back to your files folder and open up Winpinator. So start running this setup. I'm going to go through the setup installation process. So hit OK here. We're going to go next. I agree. You can put it into the default destination folder. That's fine. You can leave Explorer integration enabled next and then install and then hit next again. So what I want to do is just uncheck show release note and just actually leave the run Winpinator checked and hit finish and it's going to launch Winpinator. And what you will see is it'll go into a searching mode. So it's actually searching for the Steam Deck as of now. Now, we won't actually find the Steam Deck because we need to switch over now to the Steam Deck and install Warpinator, which is the Steam Deck equivalent of Winpinator in order for us to transfer files. So we're going to swap over to the Steam Deck now. OK, so over on our Steam Deck, what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit game mode. OK, so I'm going to go to power and I'm going to go switch to desktop. And just to note, I have, I'm recording this via my capture card. So I have my Steam Deck connected to my laptop dock and I've connected it to my capture card in order to get the be best picture quality possible to show everybody what they need to do. So basically what we want to do at this stage, we're in desktop mode, we're out of gaming mode. What we want to do is we want to open up the Discover Center. So bottom left hand corner here, just beside the Steam application launcher button, we're going to hit the Discover Center. And in the Discover Center, what we want to do is type Warpinator. So Warp Pin. And even if you put in Warp Pin, it should come up. And you can see now, um, I actually have this installed already, the very, very top one here. It's basically just a case of hitting install and it will go ahead and install. Once it's installed, just double click here. And what we want to do is we want to actually launch the Warpinator application. So hit launch and you can close out the Discover Center in the back end if you want. Allow the installation process to happen. Once this is done, it should detect automatically your PC where Winpinator is running. So we can go ahead and click my machine. All right. And that will just establish a connection with my actual Windows PC. What we're going to do next is going to swap back over to the PC. So back over on your PC, you can now see uh, it's detected the Steam Deck. So we can go ahead and select that and hit next on our Windows PC. And what we're going to do is we're going to send the, our newly created Classic Rebirth folder. So hit send a folder and you're going to go to your desktop and we're going to go to Classic Rebirth RE3. I'm going to select that folder. It's going to say awaiting approval from Steam Deck user. Now we have to swap back over again to our Steam Deck. So back over on our Steam Deck, you will now see a prompt saying waiting for approval. Go ahead and green tick that and allow that to download, i.e. transfer from your Windows PC to your Steam Deck. So once that is completed, we can close out of Warpinator. We're finished here. Uh, what you want to do next is you want to hit the Dolphin File Manager, which is the fourth icon on the bottom left hand side. Open up File Manager. And where we're going to go now is we're going to go to Home in Places. And we're going to look for Warpinator. So there should be a folder called Warpinator underneath Places Home. OK, so double click that. And you will see your newly created folder. And this is, it's called Classic Rebirth RE3. I'm actually going to right click and cut that. I'm going to put that here on our desktop. So I put that on the base desktop here on our machine. We can close out of this. I'm just going to move this into the center. So this is our actual installation folder. So what do we want to do next? We will want to actually add it to Steam now as a non-Steam game. So go ahead and open Steam session. Don't open return to gaming mode as of yet. We'll get to that later on. Open up Steam. What we want to do is we want to go to games add non steam game to my library and we're going to go browse then we're going to go to our desktop and we're going to go classic rebirth re3 we're going to hit open and then within that then we're going to select biohazard 3 or pc or this executable here and hit open we're going to go add selected programs the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to go to games view games library and you will see under install locally, now you have a non-Steam game called Biohazard 3. What we want to do is we want to right click that and go to properties. First of all, we want to go to compatibility and check force the use of specific Steam Play compatibility tool. I found, found Proton Experimental works fine for this. You can try other versions if you wish. 
but uh, for this purpose of this tutorial I'm using the Proton Experimental uh, which basically allows you to run Windows executables on the Lin Linux OS aka the Steam OS. Go back to the shortcut now on under launch options what we need to do is type the following command now I'll put this in the description I will put this in the pinned comment I have it saved here in a text file on my desktop so if you copy this command that I have in the text file here again I will put this in the description and I will put this in a pinned comment and I'm going to copy that into the launch options so as you can clearly see this launch options command here make sure that this is here this is extremely important it won't launch unless you have this enabled so to clarify compatibility force to use a specific steam play compatibility tool i'm using proton experimental and then within the shortcut itself your launch options includes this command here once you're done you can close that and we're going to test this out we're going to hit play and what should happen is the configuration page should load again and as you can see here, the configuration page is now loaded. Now, there's another thing we need to do here. Under X input, we need to drop our controller and actually select it this time. So go ahead and select your X input controller. So under controller, to be clear, miscellaneous should say controller input, X input, and then our controller should say one X input controller, AKA the controller of the Steam Deck. Uh, your best preset should have already been saved from the last time we transported it over. And the other thing to do is actually set the resolution to full screen. So you can go ahead and set that to full screen now. Once that's done, you can hit OK. And away we go. That's Resident Evil 3 Classic Rebirth now running on our Steam Deck. Now, if you want, what I'll do is I'll Alt F4 on this. I'm going to close the program for a moment. If people want to do this through game mode, it should be now ready to launch through game mode. So I'm just going to do that for the purpose of the test. Return to gaming mode. So once you're back into gaming mode, what you can do is you can go to your Steam menu. You can go to library. I'm going to go to non-Steam games. Biohazard 3 will be listed here. And you can go ahead and hit play. Your settings should be saved at this stage. And away we go. Source next version running on the Steam Deck. So that's it from me guys from another tutorial here on Hapes of Games. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video and if this helped you out, please consider subscribing. It would really help me out and support the work that I do here. And yeah, leave a comment down below if you got this working. If you have any issues, I'll do my best to help everybody out. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys.